What's going on guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm actually running out of video ideas. Well, no, that's not exactly true. I'm not running out of ideas, I just don't have many new cubes to make videos on at the moment. But I did just get a package from brickcubes.co.uk. Um, I just purchased two things, I needed a new Mega Minx because I broke mine and I needed a square one because I lost mine and I'm competing at Leeds Open fairly soon so I figured I should probably replace them. So, um, for this week's video we're going to be opening this box because I don't know what else to do. So let's go. Oh my god, okay, disaster. Come on, all right, there we go. Huge shout out to Joe at brickcubes.co.uk for the insane packaging job on these puzzles. Everything is nice and safe, I can see. All right, so previously I had the X-Man um, Galaxy Megaminx, just the version one, and I had, I think, the concave one, where the layers kind of went like this. Uh, and it was, it was actually quite bad, um, just because of that whole layer thing. So I bought a new one. This is the X-Man Galaxy Megaminx V2 L, whatever that means. So we're opening the box and we're pushing it out. What? What? Oh, push it. That is deceiving. Okay, here it is. Huh, what is this? Is this replacement pieces? Because they're black. That's not how it works. Wait, this is magnetized? This just goes to show how little I know about the stuff that I'm actually buying. This is a magnetic Megaminx. I didn't even realize that when I bought it. Wow, okay, cool. Okay, that's a little bit dry, kind of gross. Um, a little bit slow, it feels super tight, but I don't know if that's true. Yeah, this could probably do with some lubrication before I try and speed solve with it, but I also am terrible at Mega Minx, so that kind of says it all. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of loosening up maybe a little bit. Yeah, I'm bad at Mega Minx, and now that I think about it, I don't think I even signed up for Mega Minx at Leeds Open. I don't even think it's, it's being done, so I don't know why I just bought a new Mega Minx. Can cut corners pretty well. This is kind of considered the best Megaminx out there, but by the time this video is uploaded, the Gans Megaminx might have come out, but who am I kidding? I don't have that kind of money on me. So uh, that's it. The X-Man Galaxy V2L Megaminx with magnets. I will maybe be talking about this again sometime, but I'm kind of bad at Megaminx, but I really want to get back into it. So there you go. Okay, and now my arch nemesis and possibly one of my least favorite puzzles in the world, even though I kind of love hating it, the square one. I've been trying to learn how to solve square one basically since I started cubing and I've not, not been able to do that yet, so this is it. I've competed in square one once and I didn't make the cutoff. I got like 1 minute 20 and 1 minute 30, um, so I'm not very good at it. I don't really know the parity algorithm that well, but I can appreciate a good square one when I feel it, and I guess this is alright. Um, same as the Mega Minx, a little bit scratchy and dry, and it feels a little bit tight, although, oops, I don't know if, if square ones cut corners at all. I don't think they're designed to, although this isn't bad. This is kind of, uh, I don't know. A square one is a square one, basically. I am competing in square one, so I need to learn the parity algorithm as soon as possible, and then maybe I can actually make cut off for once in my life. Square one is one of those, uh, it's one of those puzzles where I kind of, you know, I'm indifferent as to whether or not I can solve it. If I don't get parity, I have no problems at all. I can solve it nice and easily. Um, if I do get parity, I have to re-scramble and start again and just hope for the best. So let's hope I can learn the algorithm for a month's time and I can actually compete in square one and not suck. 
This is, ah, oh, this is really slow. I don't even know what I'm doing. Maybe I should just give this a nice scramble. Um, I didn't solve square one on my Cancris solve, which is interesting. Uh, a lot of people have asked me to do it again, even though I do sort of know how to solve square one. Maybe I should do like a, a stupid person's guide to square one, where I just sit there and try and not get parity. I don't know, that's the square one. In other news, for those of you who actually care about me, I bought some Galaxy Lube and I applied it to the Moyu Weilong WRM. It slowed it down significantly and now I freaking love this cube. It's amazing. Like, it's super controllable now. Uh, the lube just did wonders. It really slowed it down for me. I have it on kind of loose tensions. Um, and it just is so good. It doesn't overshoot anymore. Combined with the magnets, it's become super controllable. And I like that. I also bought this, which is the Mo Yu Aosu um, GTS2M. I'm going super hard with the magnets at the moment, so yeah, lots of magnetic puzzles. I really want to do well in 4x4 at Leeds, so I've been practicing a lot more. Got myself a new 4x4, and that's it. That's all the puzzles, guys. Um, don't know what this video has been exactly, but I hope you enjoyed it. Just Chris rambling for like 10 minutes nearly, but there you go. New puzzles, speed cubing is back on the radar. I'm going to be competing soon. If you're going to Leeds, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Tell me that you're going to Leeds and that's all good. If you're not going to Leeds, I'm sorry. I guess I won't see you this year, but maybe next year, hey? Um, that's it. Have a great day, guys. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Adios.